Hi, my friend. I wish you a very happy weekend. I want to give you a heads up on something. Beginning Monday, our Gratitude to God calendar system will be ready to ship. It's been changed for 2015. I've been tracking things that have really worked over the past 10 years, and we've made adjustments. So be watching for it. The truck has arrived, and the calendars are being unloaded even as I speak to you today. I want to talk this weekend about giving up. So many people give up too early. I have in the past, and I know you have because we're human. This is kind of a a human trait. We throw up our hands and we say, that's it no more. Uh, Sometimes right before our greatest victory. It says in Ecclesiastes 7 verse 8, it says, it is better to finish something than to start it. It is better to be patient than to be proud. How many times I have started a project, especially in my young years. I would get so excited about starting something, not so excited about keeping on, keeping on with the project, and then rarely I would finish something. Well, it says it is better to finish something than to start it. It truly is. We can all start something, but it's what we finish. It's the complete circulation that makes the difference in our life. Failure is one of life's most powerful teachers. How we handle our failures determines whether we're going to simply get by in life or press on. So many times when we have uh, an accumulation of projects that are started but not finished, it, it kind of weighs us down and we think, well, we're just a, a sum total of our failures. Uh, but that's not true. You're a sum total of God. And you have God's power, even if you feel like you haven't in the past, my friend, you've got it now. And you can have it, you can use it, you can get through, you can finish something. Now, occasional disappointments, detours, and failures in life, well, they happen to all of us. But setbacks are simply the price we pay for our willingness to take risk and to pursue our dreams. Sometimes it is two steps back, one step forward, but the whole point is what really makes a difference in life is that step forward. And we are stepping forward constantly, if we're willing, in our soul growth. We must never allow the hardships of today or the accumulated hardships of uh, our past to, to rob us of the momentum to go forward, to cause us to lose faith. I pray today with you that you have the power to finish what you start. I pray that you have the power today, God-given, implanted in you, to have a drive and a determination for positivity in your life, that you have the power given to you by God. In this moment, a touch of God upon you, anointing you, changing you forever to be a finisher, to be that type of person that successfully finishes every race that they enter, every project they start, every dream they dream. I pray that God's touch is upon you. I pray you'll never be able to get it off of you. I pray it determines who you are today and 
for the rest of your days. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray you have this blessing. Amen and amen.